What is magmatic intrusion? Magmatic intrusion is the process by which magma, which is molten rock located beneath the Earth's surface, intrudes into and solidifies within pre-existing rock formations. This intrusion can occur in a variety of ways and can result in the formation of different types of igneous rocks. Magmatic intrusions can take on many different forms, from large batholiths that are several kilometers in diameter, to smaller dikes and sills that are only a few meters wide. Batholiths are large, dome-shaped intrusions that are composed of a variety of igneous rocks, including granite, diorite, and gabbro. Dikes and sills, on the other hand, are thin, sheet-like intrusions that are often composed of basalt, and can be found cutting through other rocks such as sandstone or limestone. The process of magmatic intrusion occurs when magma rises up through the Earth's crust and comes into contact with pre-existing rock formations. As the magma cools, it solidifies and forms an intrusive igneous rock. The characteristics of the resulting rock depend on a number of factors, including the composition of the magma, the depth and rate of cooling, and the pressure and temperature conditions during formation. Magmatic intrusion is an important geological process that has played a major role in the formation of the Earth's crust. It has also been an important source of mineral resources, as many valuable minerals such as gold, copper, and silver are associated with magmatic intrusions. How is magmatic intrusion formed? Magmatic intrusion is formed when molten rock, known as magma, rises from the Earth's mantle and intrudes into pre-existing rock formations in the crust. This process can occur in several ways, and the resulting magmatic intrusion can take on different forms and compositions depending on the specific conditions and circumstances of its formation. One common way that magmatic intrusion occurs is through the process of fractional crystallization. This process happens when magma cools and solidifies at different rates, causing minerals to crystallize and settle out of the magma. As this happens, the composition of the magma changes, and the remaining magma becomes more concentrated in certain minerals. This can lead to the formation of different types of igneous rocks, such as granite or gabbro, depending on the specific minerals that crystallize out of the magma. Another way that magmatic intrusion can occur is through the process of assimilation. This process happens when the rising magma comes into contact with pre-existing rock formations, and some of the minerals from the pre-existing rocks are assimilated into the magma. This can lead to changes in the composition of the magma and can result in the formation of new types of igneous rocks. The shape and size of magmatic intrusions can vary widely depending on the specific conditions of their formation. Large intrusions, known as batholiths, can be several kilometers in diameter and can be composed of a variety of igneous rocks. Smaller intrusions, such as dikes and sills, can be only a few meters wide and can cut through other types of rock formations. Overall, Magmatic intrusion is an important geological process that has played a significant role in shaping the Earth's crust and has contributed to the formation of many valuable mineral resources. The specific characteristics of a magmatic intrusion depend on a variety of factors, including the composition of the magma, the rate of cooling, and the type of pre-existing rocks it encounters. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.